Okay, Josh, this is an interesting situation, and I think it's, I, I got the uh, formula that I'll give you an edge over these two players. It's not even that hard. It takes advantage of some uh, key facts here. We're talking about big blinds, short-handed, and because of that situation, being three-handed and not having ready-made chips in front of you, at this point, you gotta be moving all in before the flop or folding. Mm -hmm. No sh short raises, no calls. Just move in before the flop okay. or raise. Now, there's an important principle of poker that you're going to take advantage of here, and that is that if somebody else raises in front of you, you need to have a better hand to call him than you would if there's nobody in yet. So if you're first in, if you have the first chance to raise, you should be raising with more hands than you should be calling with. Call with fewer hands. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to make it easy for you. I'm going to give you a formula where you can just follow this formula and you should be pretty close to playing perfectly. And that formula is always move in with a pair mm -hmm. and always move in with 17 or higher. And when I say 17 or higher, I mean add up those two cards. A 5 is a 5, an 8 is an 8, a jack is 11, a king is a 13. Mm -hmm. You got, you got 17 or higher, move in no matter what, just like you would with a pair. Mm -hmm. If you have 13 or higher, move in if nobody else is in yet. So in other words, if somebody else has moved in in front of you, mm -hmm. call with all pairs, call with 17 or higher. If nobody has yet moved in, you move in with 13 or higher. Okay. You do just that, and you're going to be probably playing better than those two. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. It's, uh, thanks for the advice. I'll, uh, I'll try to utilize it the best I can. Great. Thank you. World Poker Exchange. WorldPX.com.